Hi everyone, welcome back to the Plant Stock channel. My name is Jesse and tonight we have some more interesting news on the Tattooed Chef company. Just recently, I did a video on Jeremy from Financial Education and his interest in the company and what this could mean for their future. I argued that this would soon or later lead to more high profile influencers showing interest. And when Kevin from Meet Kevin seems ecstatic about the company, we know that this certainly seems to be the case. This is what we're going to take a quick look at today and what this could mean. But before we get started, I would really appreciate it if you smash that like button. And if you want to be part of this journey, please subscribe to the channel. First, let's just take a quick look at the recent activities on the stock movement we can see that the stock has been moving up quite a lot the last week. And I think we could argue that this is related to the new massive interest from different influencers, such as Jeremy and now also Meet Kevin. Obviously, the company's recent good news regarding plant-based meat items and being a well-driven company with a lot of potential is a part of it. But as we have talked about before, a lot of companies can do very well and have lots of potential but if they aren't on the map, not being noticed, it won't help in the long run, especially not in regards to the stock movement. That is about to change more and more for the tattooed chef, in my opinion. Meet Kevin seems to be all the rave about the company. He compares the company to Beyond Meat and newly IPO'd The Very Good Food Company. According to Kevin, even if he also is invested in Beyond, he feels that with the current numbers, the chef is preferable. I'll let him explain it. Take a look at this. The market cap, we already know this, right? The market cap of Beyond Meat is 8.8 .8 billion, 1.29 at Tattoo Chef, and 600 million at the Very Good Food Company. But watch this, folks. This is crazy, okay? Watch this. Beyond Meat sells for 14 times 2021 revenue. The Tattoo Chef sells for 5.4 times 2021 projected revenue. And the Very Good Food Company sells for about 60 times annual 2021 guest revenue. The reason I said guest revenue is because right now, in the biggest month they've ever had, they had about $600 million in shares. You can see that uh, on, in sales. You can see that directly on their website. Well, I'm projecting that in 2021, maybe they could get to $10 million. In, uh, in revenue. That would be around $833 million per month at the Very Good Food Company. Well, the stock sells with a market cap of about $600 million. So if they're actually doing $10 million in sales in 2021, then that is 60 times uh, the revenue that you're paying for the Very Good Food Company. So the Very Good Food Company, really, really, really expensive. And I'm not saying they're not a very, very good food company. <laughs> uh, gosh, uh, but, but uh, you know, relative to, to some of the comparison metrics I see here, I mean, just based on what we're paying market cap to revenue wise, uh, and then multiple for future revenue, to me, the Tattoo Chef seems like a no brainer. And this is why I'm investing what I am into the Tattoo Chef. I'm into the company right now for about $125,000. I'm tempted after this video post to potentially put in a little bit more. So in other words, Tattoo Chef is undervalued at the moment, a company that shows a lot of potential. He just invested $125,000 and he indicated that he might invest even more. In his estimates, the stock price could get up to $60 within a three year period. Guys, let's get some interaction going. Where do you see this stock in two years to three years from now? Now, should you take his positive outlook as good advice? Well, like with all YouTubers, it's not financial advice. You should always do your own due diligence. But it is worth mentioning that like Jeremy, Kevin does seem to have a knack for picking stocks that do really well in the long term. He doesn't have 1 million subscribers for no reason. Sure, he doesn't only focus on the stock market like Jeremy. He's mostly known for his housing projects. Yet, he is known for being very intelligent with most things related to finances. And he has done extremely well with stocks, especially the last year. I'll leave a link to the video down below. Could this mean that the company will get more and more noticed? 
Well, with Meet Kevin and Financial Education put together, we're talking about almost 2 million subscribers and a lot of investors that are part of their private discords. And Jeremy recently made a discord public, the Stock Hub, with over 30,000 members and growing. That is a lot of investors finding out about the Tattooed Chef. Jeremy's already added a Tattoo Chef channel and there is a lot of activity on a daily basis. There is no doubt in my mind that this will keep moving the stock price initially, but with the company getting even more attention with time, I do see even greater gains long term. That is just my humble opinion. And remember, this is still a small cap stock. It won't take that much to move it around. I'm really happy that Kevin also argues that we live in a time where plant-based companies are the future and there will be massive opportunities to be had, not only for the businesses themselves, but also for us investors. This is the very thing that I've been talking about for years in my own circles and now recently here on YouTube. For quite some time now, there's been a lot of focus on the EV market and the potentials for the future, the sustainability of the planet, and the massive opportunity for profits that goes along with this. But as I have been saying since I first started this channel, driving is something most people do, and it does make an impact if most of us start driving electric cars in the future. It will definitely be part of helping the planet become more sustainable again. But I would argue that what you eat has a far greater impact on the planet, for the environment, for people's health, and for the animals. Even if most people do drive, and maybe most days of the week, I do believe that almost everyone eats three to five times a day. In other words, what you put in your mouth will have a greater impact on sustainability of the planet than any other change. What are your opinion on that? Feel free to let us know down in the comments. Don't take my word for it. There have been plenty of studies out there proving just that very argument. The UN has given out reports after reports stating this, starting with the long shadow research back in 2006. If you haven't seen it yet, make sure that you watch the documentary Cowspiracy. It talks about this predicament in great detail. I'll leave a link to the trailer down below. People, don't forget about Analyst Day today. That basically means that the CEO will present different arguments for analysts regarding why this company has a lot of potential and hoping to get these on his side. These could potentially lead to even more investors getting interested. That was it for today. And if you found some value, make sure to smash that like button and feel free to subscribe to the channel if you want more news and thoughts on Tattooed Chef and other plant-based companies. And if you haven't watched my video about Jeremy showing interest in the chef, you'll find it at the end. As I'm sure most of you know by now, I'm not a financial advisor. These are just my own thoughts and opinions. Do with them as you please. I hope to see you soon. Take care. Peace.